Hey, welcome back to a very new vlog. Today it's Monday and it's also my day off. I planned that like a couple of weeks ago already. Not only because it's Halloween, I'm not even doing anything special today, but just because I really felt like needing some more days off because I haven't had a proper holiday since the beginning of January. So that's almost 10 months ago. Uh, anyway, the things that I'm doing today is this morning I was cleaning, uh, this afternoon I want to bullet journal, I also have some administration tasks, I'm finally gonna buy some filming lights. Pretty boring, maybe, <laughs> um, but I really like planning and sorting things out that makes me very happy and feel very set up for the days to come. So this week is kind of a weird week. Um, there's no music coming out this week, um, but I do have some stuff that will get into it. And also I want to talk to you guys about a new discovered old hobby, an old rediscovered hobby new rediscovered however you say so um but for that much later let's get on with bullet journaling i've been bullet journaling i made a manga page a maxident page and just so you know it's not necessarily pretty i don't want to make my bullet journal pretty necessarily it's just for me to keep track of certain things make a list and what not and yeah I am creative when it comes down to the colors I want to use so for example the October month was in the Mexican colors but other than that you know what I just enjoy bullet journaling and I don't want to necessarily make it look pretty just functional and rant <laughs> okay so let me get through this page um, Mangas is one of those hobbies that I rediscovered again <laughs> and um, that were the words that I uh, tumbled over in the last scene. Anyhow, um, and I've been really enjoying this hobby to rediscover it again. So Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon was one of those that I absolutely loved back in middle school. Um, I got the first volume earlier this year or actually last year already um, but I want to read multiple if it's possible because I enjoy to read multiple kind of novel reading thingies <laughs> the thing is I don't always read just novels I read multiple kind of things like mangas so one of the novels that I tried this year was Spy Family and I absolutely enjoyed it so much so i'm gonna order the next four volumes little heads up when i was looking at this title um yeah this is a german title for this novel <laughs> i will put it on the screen um the thing is i order my mangas in german because first of all they are cheaper second of all it's so much fun to learn German that way because did you know that novels actually have a less new word count in their novels than mangas? It has a way higher rare word count. I believe that's the correct wording for it. Um, so that's why I actually read in German. And since I don't necessarily like uh, learning German from textbooks. This is the perfect way to learn German for me. Um, and this is part of the English title as well, but I'm gonna put the full title, English title, over here. Um, My Happy Marriage. I saw this a lot on manga YouTube, so that's why I also put it up there. So these are the novels that I want to read, or a manga, sorry. <laughs> so, so these are the mangas that I'm planning on reading in the next few months. But what I learned from the manga community is basically that a lot of people said just 
try to finish one um, set, I guess. Is that how you call it? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm very... well, I am new again, sort of, in this community. So, yeah, hi. <laughs> um, so, first things first, I first want to fully collect uh, Spy Family up until the 9th. Oh yeah! Third Pro of Reading in German. Um, they are actually faster in translating than the English version, so whoop whoop! <laughs> that makes me so happy. So the 9th is already out in German. So, uh, firstly this month I'm gonna order, or well, for the November month already, I want to order the next four novels, and uh, mangas, I mean, I'm really new to this, okay? Uh, and then hopefully in December or maybe January next year, order the other mangas in the series. So that's my plan. It's Tuesday and it mostly means in this household that it's package day. This weekend I ordered an album from this shop and I'm so excited. Especially, by the way, may I say how this package is been packaged very eco-friendly. That makes me just so happy that not to match plastic use, just ecological friendly packaging. It also feels really nice, by the way. <laughs> Anti-Fragile by Le Seraphim is so stunning. And I'm even more happy that the company learned from last time and made this instead of that we had to rip it off. Oh, I'm so excited! Oh, an extra coverage. <gasps> yes, I've got the first press! I was really hoping that I would... Hey, wait. I've got a member-related post? Oh, that makes me so happy! So I can frame it and put it up there. Oh, so cute! This makes me so excited. I'm so sorry. <laughs> ah! Stickers, even more stickers. Oh, whoa, those are big stickers. So cool. Oh, I'm so excited. Who did it? God. I really hope one of my biases. Wait, one second. <gasps> I did. I got John Jin! <laughs> oh my god! I got John Jin! <laughs> yes! Oh my god, I cannot believe it! I've been so excited! <laughs> wow! Today is a much better day than yesterday, because yesterday my Instagram account from my K-pop related... Um, sorry, I was busy trying to get this. Anyway, so my K-pop Instagram account got deleted by Instagram and I was freaking out. But all is good now. Okay, yeah, I have to open it with two hands. How oh, stunning. So, so stunning. Wow, this photo book is so thick. It's amazing. Hold on, where to put this? Okay, one second. <gasps> I'm in awe. I'm in awe. Wow, this... I'm speechless. This is truly amazing. Like... Wow, okay, so tonight I'm gonna take some time and have a good look at everything because I have some work stuff to do. But wow, I'm speechless. And then even a Jungin card, like, hello! That truly, truly made my day. On this lovely Thursday, the meal came in and I got a note together. With another Junjun photo card. I'm doing good with the Junjun photo cards this week. <laughs> so I only need one more Junjun photo card from the Fearless uh, era 
and that's the volume one, the album PC. But other than that, I'm so sorry, the washing machine is going off in the background. Um, but after that, my Fearless com collection from Jen Jen will be completed. And the Kazua one is already completed. At the beginning of this week, I actually took a subscription on Crunchyroll. And so far, I've been loving it. I've been watching Spy Family. But somewhere this weekend, I'm planning on watching another anime. Um, not sure which one yet. I've got a couple in my list. Let's have a look. Um, oops. So I've got Fruit Basket because I heard a lot of people talk about the uh, mangas. I got Hack You because, uh, <laughs> okay, this is quite a funny one because Jun Jin from Le Seraphim is a big fan of them. And my Dress Up Darling. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to think about it. Why does that keep happening to me? Anyway, um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to think about it because, yeah, I know it's a fan service uh, anime, but I didn't know. I think I kind of like it. Also, Bang Chan once talked about it, so now I'm super, super curious. On this lovely Saturday, I got a package and it's are probably in my filming lamps, which is quite erotic because it's just super sunny outside. And I got these lamps because of the darker weather. Okay, so let's have a look at what everything is in here. So everything in the box is from the brand Rolai. Um, I pronounce that very Dutch, but you get the gist. I got the Lumis Mini LED and then I got two of the Mini LED RGB. These came in a set by the way, so the RGBs came in a set and this lamp came in a set with this one, the Comfort Vlogging Kit. Okay, so hear me out. <laughs> um, the reason why I bought this one was because the lamp on its own was 20 euros. And together with the vlogging kit, it would have been 25. And if I bought this on its own, it would have been 20 euros. So I saved quite some money. Um, I don't necessarily vlog with my phone. I only did it one time. But the reason why I really wanted to have this was because of uh, the standard. And that I can attach the light to the standard very easy. Or put the light on top of here instead of this microphone thingy so yeah I feel very hip right now <laughs> well I wasn't meant to but I was never planning on buying something like this but um, yeah it came with equipments that you can also screw loose from the original standard um, and I was like you know what? This is only 5 euros more if I buy that light and I knew for sure that I was needing that light. So I was like, okay, what the heck? I'm getting it. Yo, you have no idea how happy <laughs> this lighting makes me. Um, there are still some improvements to make. I think it's a bit too bright, but on the other hand, on screen it looks okay. So still a lot to figure out. Also, I put up one of the RG B lights. Did I say it's right? Yeah, RGB lights up there. That was also my plan. Uh, the other one is still charging, and uh, I like this this color coordination. So my idea was that I was gonna put one in that box and the one other one in that box to have a fun background and especially if there are albums in there so it highlights and i can change um of course these lights i can change to multiple colors so depending on which group i'm talking to i can change the color into the lighting that fits the group best this was actually the purplish pinkish color was actually the color it came with uh that was the setting it was on and it reminded me so much of Chani's room so I was like, oh, this is perfect. I love it. I'm so happy. It was definitely money well spent. Also, you're standing currently on the vlogging kit. So, yeah, I couldn't be happier. This was the best 70 euros I have spent in quite a while. <laughs>
it's Sunday and if you hear something in the background that's my mom being busy in the attic cleaning it and whatever uh, and today I want to clean actually well first of all my room in general um, I didn't even make my bed yet uh, but I also want to clean out this again I mean I know I did my k-pop shells very recently but that was before my Lesser Film album came in also I don't necessarily like what I did over here um, I don't think this fits well and I really don't like the silver frame around it I don't know I mean I really like Chan and I like this but I think it's too dark the background so I think I, either the picture should be somewhere else in the room with more lighting or somewhere else I don't know yet but Anyhow, I'm gonna change some things up. Um, Le Seraphim goes, I think, in there. Maybe in there. We'll have to figure that one out. And these shelves, I'm gonna make them already uh, for manga that is coming in very, very soon. So, this is one of the things that I want to do. It got super duper dark outside but luckily I now have filming light so I still can show it to you even though I'm like maybe it's this is a bit too bright but who knows maybe when I'm editing it's not too bad anyhow so I decided to put the Taylor Swift arm on this thingy because it looks cooler also then it wouldn't fall over as easily <laughs> um, and it's still the same but I think it looks cool and then we go down. I put all the Stray Kids stuff in here, but instead of having the pins or Jan's poster, I'm still sad that I don't know where to put Jan's poster. Um, I need to figure that one out. But so far, I really like this. I put Maxident over here and the other Stray Kids albums that I have. These are all the albums of Stray Kids that I own. Um, but that's fine. These are my favorite albums, so all good. And then over here I put the Le Seraphim Anti-Fragile album. But since it's quite white in front, uh, especially over there, I was like, oh, I can put up a photo. And the Le Seraphim photo is actually too big to fit in a 10 by 15 centimeter frame. So I was like, oh, I have this bigger frame and then I can put Maxident over here. And it looks so cool, especially because it is serving the same kind of vibes. I mean, chaotic girls with chaotic boys. And I think it's actually quite funny because normally Stray Kids is the most chaotic group. But in this case, it's definitely <laughs> the Seraphim and I love it. I really like that the vibes are kind of ish the same and also the colors. So I'm like, this is perfect. I love it. Okay, and so then we go down. The Pink Phantom album can't stand on its own, so I had to shove that there. And then put the album over here, which I'm not mad about it, because it gives more a hint of pink. And then I really like that there's pink and then there's pink. Of course, still my Korean study books. All my other albums. And I really need to put back my K-pop boxes over here and then of course my binders hey it's actually the next day and i just wanted to say that i hadn't made this shelf ready for my up and coming manga collection so i decided that i'm also gonna vlog upcoming week and make my manga shelves ready anyhow i hope you enjoyed the vlog and i hope to see you next time bye